there were no major settlements in the western frontier that were American settlements. Interestingly enough, they were French and British. Detroit had been established by the French in 1701 and had um, transferred into the hands of the British at the conclusion of the Seven Years' War. Um, St. Louis and uh, St. Genevieve, on the, just on the western side of the Mississippi River in what's today's Missouri, were settlements of several hundred people. And opposite them on the eastern side of the Mississippi River was Kaskaskia and Cahokia. Both of them had several hundred people. On the Wabash River was the settlement of Vincennes. It had been established as a French trading post and at the conclusion of the Seven Years' War, that became British territory. So that was a, uh, but these are all settlements of just 400, 600 people, um, not very large at all. Where Americans were, were in settlements in what's now Kentucky, and there we're talking about a few dozen people at various places. And it essentially was limited by how many people could fit into a small fort if they were under attack. Um, it would be called fording up. If there was uh, rumors or signs of Indians in the vicinity, maybe a dozen families living in that vicinity would immediately all go to the fort. And they would live there sometimes for weeks, sometimes for months. And at that point, delegations of men would leave the fort under guard to work the fields, but otherwise everyone lived in the fort. So we're still at a point in the 1770s where Americans don't have enough physical security to begin building what we would think of as regular towns. 